yes, I did open this game twice just so I can hear the intro song twice. I never <laughs> knew that I needed it in my life. But now that I've seen it, I can't unsee it and I can't not see it. There's a game from KFC. Welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Nova and today we are playing I Love You, Colonel Sanders. A finger looking good dating <laughs> simulator. <laughs> It has been a while since I reviewed free games for us, and I would love nothing more than introduce you to a potential free game that you might love. If you guys, like me, you love fried chicken as much as I do, you've just got to have at least once, maybe twice, maybe thrice, maybe quadruple times in a month. You might like this game too. This game says that the publisher is actually KFC, which is mind-blowing to me. And a dating simulator at that? But it sounds freaking hilarious and freaking fun, so we're gonna try it together for the first time. Like I said, this game is absolutely free, so be sure to get your copy if you like what you see after we're done playing it for the first time today. Welcome to the most delicious dating simulator ever created. Do you have what it takes to be the business partner of and win the heart of the most famous chicken salesman of all time? Play to find out. Go ahead, because Colonel Sanders is waiting for you. I am so excited. I've never played before, and I don't know, as a fried chicken enthusiast, I feel like I should at least try it. And I also like um, visual novels, dating simulators. It looks like it's really well done. Let's hop right into a new game. Before we get started, let's say, tell us your real name. I'm gonna go with Nova because I have a feeling it's gonna be even funnier when I can relate to it. Look at those biscuits and that fried chicken. Like, this is the best advertisement for gamers. If you see this, you're gonna wanna order some fried chicken after. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in this moment forever. <laughs> Oh my god, that alarm clock, I gotta stop it. Or you could wake up now, 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 now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Smack that clock up and at him. Throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever. Okay, smack that clock, I guess. We gotta get rid of that, holy crap. I can't believe this is a fried chicken game with a chicken poster right here. What does this say? Does it say chicken? I assume that's either Japanese or Chinese because I recognize it. I don't know which it is because I don't know Chinese words enough. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander, though. Who will be there? What will you cook? What would you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. You'll need to take this seriously, or you'll allow yourself to daydream a bit, thinking about the future. I'm gonna play this like how I would in real life so that I can get a result most most authentic to myself since I already named myself Nova. I'm gonna allow myself to daydream a bit in bed because that's what I usually like to do. Snuggle a little extra in bed, a little bit too lazy to get up right away. It's here, finally! Your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet. Do I have to date Colonel Sanders though? Can I, um... I mean, this game is about, it's called I Love You, Colonel Sanders. But we have like a, it's not a BTS poster because there's only six of them and BTS has seven members. You can tell when there's a hardcore fan in front of you of the biggest boy band in the world when I already know the same BTS, but it is a boy band, I think. Unless these are all my friends, all guys. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize that you're running late. You grab a biscuit, and you burst out the door in a hurry. My question now is, what kind of biscuit? Is it the KFC biscuit? Are they staying authentic? It is the KFC biscuits. Mmm, delicious. Just what you needed to wake up those taste buds. I mean, I literally love a good biscuit. I really like cheesy biscuits, cheddar-y biscuits. Or any kind of cheesy biscuit. Yikes, you're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. Yeah, it looks like I'm fine in real life, though. That reminded me that I didn't put on deodorant. But that's okay, because I'm at home, and no one are gonna smell these pits except myself, and I can handle myself. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Uh-oh. Standing in the quad, you gaze up at... Magnificent Univers University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. This place looks royal and regal. It looks nice. 
My campus was not that nice. Here comes your lifelong best friend, Mariam. Mariam? Mariam. I'm gonna stick with Mariam. Look at those. Okay. Tell me in the comment section down below, guys. Do you guys like... Do you guys dig anime characters with glasses? Is that your thing? And what about, like, pigtails? Is this called pigtails? Or braids? Actually, big braids. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Adorably awkward sounds like me? So maybe I'll have a lot in common with my childhood friend here. Good morning, Nova! Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Of oh, the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm, uh, because I sure am! Excited? A little nervous? Okay, okay, a lot nervous! What's the, um, it's just that this morning, I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Mariam. Raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard, and she's crying right now. <laughs> Ever since we were little babies playing together, you rescued me, and you rescued me from that quicksand box. It's been clear to me that you're the most loving and caring person that I know. You're gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> but with the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day-only semesters... Three-day-only semesters? Oh my god, how does that that work? Oh my god, how many semesters will you have in a year then? I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Mariam, has always had a flair for the dramatic though. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Pep talk your best friend or change the subject to school gossip. No, that's awful. When your friend is so nervous, don't just change your subject. You pep talk them and you like boost them up, you know? Did you pep talk her or change the subject? Pep talk her. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looked spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you're destined for great things. Destined. Destined. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower and the other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? Like, Colonel Sanders is wearing a red apron in the trailer. I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. I'm, I wonder how we look. Do we get to, like, customize it? Wow. I didn't expect this, but visual novel lovers, you guys might enjoy this. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time, we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. As you took Mariah up, as you talk her up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. This is a game that no one knew they needed, but they might actually need. A fried chicken game simulator. Let's jump more in and see what we can find. I want to meet the other characters. I guess everyone's a chef here, though. Or students, I guess? Chef students. Student chefs. Chef students? Student chefs. Chef students. Student chefs. Student chefs, for sure. Let me know if I'm wrong, though, guys. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. If not, at least I have these killer bangs. Killer bangs? Okay, we got we got some stuff in common, Mariam. Can you believe I cut them myself? Okay, we got more in common now, Mariam. You can definitely believe it. I, uh... Cannot believe it. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Who did that? Hey! It's Ashley. Ashley. Ashley or Ashley? I think Ashley. Ashley. Okay, I'm just gonna call her Ashley because it's a lot uh, easier, guys. It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. I mean, she does look cutely drawn. She has red eyeballs, though. She has big boobs, oh my god. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. I've never heard of anyone being called chicken shins. You leave Nova's shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. Ugh. You can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. It's a little bit hard to pronounce, yes? You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she just had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than anyone. 
I mean, I guess I read it right then. If anyone here knows what the perfect shin looks like, it's us. We're not gonna let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man. I stop to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocket glutes. Um, Van Van? Ooh, you rang rang? Oh my god, the dialogue. What is he wearing? In school, oh my god, the belt too. Ooh, fashionista. What is that on his head? Is that his hair? And a comb? I think so. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have just been as close as you and Mariah, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, would ever allow people like you to attend as students. Oh, we really don't get along. I know, right? You'd think they just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us on as professors? You amateurs could learn a lot from us. Oh, I don't like Van Van. I don't like Van Van at all. Ugh. With the first day of school about to start, there's not much time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. I can't wait till I actually have them. Um, let's go, Mariah. Until I actually have my own options. I hope there's options in this. Shh. See you later, losers. Who's this now? He looks so young. Or oh, she. As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Did he fart? His name is Pup? Uh, oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you! I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop! It was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Okay, he looks really young. Like, like he shouldn't be in college yet. He looks 12 or 13 or younger. Would someone like this be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob. But I guess he's reading it upside down. Jesus Christ. If you don't know your own name since birth though, that's a little bit hard. Hi Pop, I'm Nova, so... Are you gonna make me hold this door all day? Nope, nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Aww. Is it just me? Or is he kinda cute? Um, I think it's just you, Mariah. I think you can have Pop all to yourself. Wow. I guess that's her type. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. There's talking dogs in this game? A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of class. He's so adorable. Okay, this game is, um, a little bit beyond what I expected now. I didn't expect talking dogs now. His name's Sprinkles. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, that though. Yeah. Please, just call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. What? Cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. I mean, they do have a point there. Like, they say that animals' noses are supposed to be better than a human's, right? So, in this case, I guess if dogs could ever talk, if they ever could have like a personality like a human, maybe they'll be able to be better food connoisseurs? 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 Anyways, let's continue with Sprinkles. Out of nowhere? Oh, we're about to meet... Are we about to meet Colonel Sanders? Because the cherry blossoms are beginning, guys. It's about to get real romantic in here. And maybe smell really good, like fried chicken or something. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals 
Fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then... He walks in. There we go. Okay, guys. I just took a mini little break right now to eat lunch. So let me continue my reactions of Colonel Sanders walking in from before. Wow. He walks in. There's cherry blossoms everywhere. Okay. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. I mean, we're all pretty young. I mean, but Colonel Sanders looks like he's in his 60s or even 70s. With his hair and beard and mustache. But the rest of him looks like he's still in his 20s. Okay, I guess that's what they mean by time stand still. <gasps> it's it's him! It's If it isn't my favorite star student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Is that really Colonel Sanders' first name? Wait, Colonel Sanders is a real person, right? Any KFC fans here that can enlighten me? Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. Uh, what? Looking at us? And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Why are they all looking at me? Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Faucet pit. I mean, does he smell my armpits? Or am I just sweating? Anyone else um, guilty of sweating a lot on their armpits when it's hot? I am. Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my fat. You two both know my name. We're in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? Besides, when Nova sweats, it's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Hey guys, I guess I haven't soaked through my shirt, so I can't really tell if it's beautiful shimmering. I guess you only have one option. We will turn to find Colonel Sanders standing right in front of us. Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently. His hand outstretched. Oh jeez. Boy, howdy. This room gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. Oh man, they're about to put in those fried chicken jokes here and there. Those little punny things. And look at this pedestal. Did you guys notice? I just noticed now. But that's a chicken here. Please. Use my handkerchief, chief. Whoa, 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 look at this magnificent form while he hands us his handkerchief. Do you guys think he's holding it, the handkerchief up here? Or is he holding it here? Is he like, here? Or is he like, the handkerchief is here? And then he's just like, holding onto his arm here, guys. Let me know what you guys think. What you? You freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Colonel Sanders is talking to you? About how sweaty you look? You're completely mortified. Okay, this only happens in visual novels and in animes and movies and manga, but not in real life. In real life, if you're sweating a lot, I don't think anyone's gonna come to you and blow you a kiss and tell you you look beautiful and offer you the handkerchief. I don't think that happens. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? How will you respond? Refuse the handkerchief or take the handkerchief? Of course. We're not gonna leave him hanging. We're gonna take the handkerchief. You stretch out your hand and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, there were just heart bubbles going all around. So I guess we made the right choice. So beautiful, you hesitate to press it gently to your face. It has his natural scent on it. Oh my god. The next line I'm about to read. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to the University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning 
the greatest culinary school in the whole world. And with that said, I think we'll stop it right here. That is it for the free game of the day. I am definitely going to go back into reviewing more free games so that you guys can check them out and see if it's a game that you like to play. Did you guys like this visual novel? If you did, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And do you like KFC? Guys, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. It's really super helpful for the channel and also lets me know what kind of content you guys like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you want to see more gaming content from me, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. That's how you get notified of when I post next. I do post new gaming videos three to five times a week, so staying subscribed will ensure that you never miss my newest videos. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed. I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye! Thank you.